This is the package that they give. Okay. I'm going to go Third ahead. Third is on his way. He said he was just running a little bit behind. Good. Add him when he gets there. So if you want to. We'll go ahead and, and start. We'll call the meeting to order of the Parks and Rec. We're going to do the flag. We got the flag in here. Yeah. Hey. Miss Jackie, we're going to do the pledge. Oh. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Invocation. Do you want to do that for us? Um, yeah, I can. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for all the many blessings of this day. We, as we come together as a community and deliberate over things that make good judgments for our Parks and Rec Department, watch over this board, watch over us so they make those good decisions. We ask, this, I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right, guys. Okay. Roll call. Ms. McWilliam. Here. Ms. Cranberry. Here. Mr. Patton? Here. Mr. Smith? Here. Mr. Knowles? Here. Mr. Pepe? Here. And you have a new member, Anna Arnold? Um, she is one of your new members. She is one of your new members. We'll make sure, hopefully we got in touch with her, but we'll make sure we do. Hope to go. All right. On the agenda, <coughs> there's one correction under the approval of minutes. It's got September 10th. Change that to September 11th on your copies. The last meeting was September 11th, and you have the minutes in your packet. I don't know if they were mailed out. But is there anything uh, that needs to be corrected or added to the minutes? If not, we'll entertain a motion to accept. I'll accept them with that correction. I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Completion review of unfinished business. Coach's background check. Um, in your... Yeah, let me start with that. Uh, so, last month there was a lot of discussion over uh, background checks and the ordinance and how that was laid out. With the help of the police department and Ms. Patty was a huge help on this. You have a lot of information in your packet, so I'll just kind of briefly go over what we've come up with. A whole so, packet. Yeah, a big packet, yes. <laughs> uh, so there was a couple ordinances um, in place. I think the biggest thing that I want you to guys to look at is in your packet, you will see the agenda from August 18th, 2015. You guys see it? If not, it's on the board. So that's the agenda packet. And then in the minutes is where there was an action item taken. At the bottom of page five, or sorry, page eight, and at the top of page nine, and that was basically where they required the um, the things you saw last month as far as the criteria for if you could coach or not coach. After talking with Corey, if it's something that you guys want to entertain, uh, we probably need to put all this in ordinance. So if you make a recommendation to do that, uh, we would go to the commission in two readings to amend that. I did bring Michael here mm -hmm. tonight because he had some recommendations and some thoughts about this. So he's here to speak if you'd like for him to speak on that. I would. Oh, indeed. Well, it's a lot of research in this. Um, the two ordinances we found, the action item we found. I've contacted several cities, Columbia, Lawrenceburg, Spring Hill, City of Dover. I went with different sizes uh, to see exactly what their background checks consisted of. Uh, city of Dover's like ours, 10 years on felons, uh, seven years on misdemeanors. Uh, city of Columbia, if you have anything other than a speeding ticket in the city of Columbia, no matter the time frame, you're not coaching. Uh, city of Lawrenceburg, same way, no time frame. If you have anything over a speeding ticket, you're not coaching in the city of Lawrenceburg. Uh, city of Springfield's like ours, 10 years uh, on felons, uh, violent, sexual, 10 years, 10 years seems to be the standard. 
I have sent an email to the National Parks and Recs Association. Uh, the lady that I'll need to speak with, she is in a conference and I've not heard back from her on what their recommendation is. Uh, my recommendation, police department's recommendation is that you leave it the same. You don't change it. Uh, 10 years on, on uh, felons, uh, violent uh, sexual offenses, violent offenses, drug offenses, anything felony needs. Uh, my recommendation, our recommendation is 10 years. Misdemeanor, seven years. Uh, and the reason for that, for us, uh, we see civil liability if you change it. Uh, coaches, uh, parents, you change it to seven. Uh, five whatever you want to change it to i see civil liability parents you letting you letting people coach with felonies that uh recommendations are everywhere else is 10 years so i see liability with this so is this currently ours this first two that, sheets our, that is our current policy that we go by when okay. we do a background check that's from 2015. okay uh the council did vote on that uh, so asking them, make sure I got this right. If it's a sex offense, sex offense is, is a no. It's, it's forever. Regardless, forever. Yes, regardless. Felonies, all felonies, uh, other than violence, other than thefts, violence for 10 years. 10 years yeah. Okay. And then misdemeanors is seven. Yeah. And then violent felonies, which include murder, aggravated assault, uh, uh, those are indefinite as well. Now, when you do the background checks, do you make the league aware of what kicks these guys out? Or So we do. If something comes back on one of those, we do our due diligence. We contact the district attorney's office. We see what's going on. If they're able to get it expunged, we let them know what they need to do to get it expunged. Uh, we don't just say yes or no. We, we tell them what's going on. So I would, it's totally up to you guys, you'll make the recommendation. I would suggest that you, because we just now got this put together, we had to dig deep to find this stuff, really. is maybe you take the next few weeks in the next meeting, and if you guys have a recommendation, then we send it from there, unless you just adamantly want to do that, this meeting. And maybe I'll hear back from the National Association by then. Well, I don't want to be a person to change this and be responsible Right. Myself well, being responsible. In order to change it, though, it's going to require a vote from the city. Yeah. Right. But I'm saying I don't want to be the one to make a recommendation to change this and some child out there. I, I don't want to be responsible for that. My my personal recommendation is leave it like it is. I second that. I, I mean, mean if it's a liability. It seems to be standard. Coming from law board, enforcement. Unless you, yeah. unless you want to coach in Columbia. Yeah. <laughs> and then the next question I have then is then at the 10 year threshold yeah, what and it's a non-violent non-sexually related how do we as a parks board then get the okay to so if it's at the 10-year threshold if it's 10 years from the date of their conviction mm -hmm. 10 years or after and they okay. submit uh, a request to coach uh -huh. it's approved okay yeah I so we don't know we don't know who like we wouldn't know who like fell within that yeah. so we would just get when they do their background check, we would just get an approval, mm -hmm. period. It, would so come, it wouldn't say that there were... If it's disapproved, we write on there why it's disapproved. Uh -huh. uh, we call the district attorney's office. Uh -huh. We get it, we get reasoning. If it can be expunged uh, and they haven't gotten expunged, we get what they what they owe. Uh, I mean, we do all the work for them. Again. Yeah, you. we've had several that um, over the last, well, since I've been here, well, what, uh, that my they have been well. able to work with to get their record expunged. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that they can coach. Mm -hmm. Well, we had one that I think that came and gave us a hard time, and he ended up back at jail. Yes, he, he did. did. Ten the federal pen. Yes. yes. And that's only a short why, time after the request right, to that's coach. That's the reason why I wouldn't want to change it because, I mean, they may be doing good, but if probation is that long, it's for a reason. Amen. And you know, all of us, at least. Most people on park and recreation are here for the kids. Mm -hmm. And we want to stay there the kids first. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. At least I do. I do too. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I just wanted to ask what type of background checks do you guys do? And are they paid background checks? No. Are they we, run, we can run a background check. Uh, and if a Thomas report comes back, a Thomas mm -hmm. report mm -hmm. is, is a report that we get that where you've been convicted mm -hmm. of, a, of a crime, any crime, if you've been convicted. Uh, if you have anything uh, lingering, if you haven't been to court yet on that, we don't we don't consider that. We just do convictions. 
We use that at where I work. Right. That's why I mean, okay. the same Thank process. Mm -hmm. yeah. But we also do sex offenders and adult abuse. Yeah, mm -hmm. I get my speed ticket You get your speed ticket dismissed, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not expunged. <laughs> So, thank you very much, my yeah, yeah, The information was very valuable. <laughs> so I think the question is up. So no action item. Yeah. 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 And, and the Which we've been here before, guys. We right. seem to end up in the same conversation a lot. Once a year. Once a year. Yeah. And yeah. then after the last incident, when cause, I mean he really had my heart when he talked about his talent, you know. We voted against it, which I'm grateful because, like I said, that one ended back up. And we just don't, we have to think of it first. And I, don't, I don't mind being the backup. And that's what I was going to hit on here. So the end result is once you, we've established these policies and they go through our elected body, it's all operational then. So, it, I mean, you can hear it and you can revisit if you want to once a year, like you said, but it's going to be on the application through Alicia. Now go to Michael and run the background check, and it either pans out or it doesn't. So it goes operational from that standpoint. I agree. Sway's yeah. always. I mean, we we don't just do a five minute. We we do our due diligence sometimes. I mean, if they're able to coach or if they can get something expunged before the season starts, I'll, I'll you know I want them to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's just the sheer fact that they don't know how, or sometimes they just owe money. Yeah. Yeah, they just don't know what's going on. Right. Well, up until now, we really haven't had somebody really look into this mm -hmm. like this because we've always been under the regulations of not only what we do here but a governing league with Dixie Youth which was a little bit stricter than I think what we did what we do what we do now mm -hmm. and I think that's why it's coming to question now that the league has changed again mm -hmm. you know what is our standard so well, if this, it's this 10 years, city of Mount let's Clay, leave it that way. Now, if, if if the league over there decides to, you know, to be ABC Ball League and ABC Ball League says no to anything, then it's out of our hands. It's out of our hands. League. It's operational again. Yes. That's right. They any, can go any, city, any city property. Correct. Yeah. I'm saying, though, if their league requires something more stringent than this, yes. it's off us. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't want to open up that can of worms. but this yeah. also the county... Yeah, okay, the about the county properties. That yeah. was the next question I was going to. Well, I can answer that without yeah. answering it, but we have no jurisdiction over Mercury. Yeah, yeah. Of course we don't. Yeah, so. so but again, operational, they trump what we would say on that. I don't know if this is for coaches, but what about just at the game? Can you do anything about that? Just felons being at the game or at school? They can be on school property. School property. I don't have anything to do with school property. As long as it's not in effect, where they've been always. told they can't be right. around children or can't be something like that. Yeah, uh, there one of these ordinances, one of our resurrection uh, parks and recs ordinances. It does spell out. Uh, I think it's a ethics policy to where mm -hmm. if you get towed yeah. or get in trouble at one of the games, that there's mm -hmm. a step by step for what. Mm -hmm. it's Which is an issue. It's happened happens yearly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, there's somebody acting up yeah. at the ball field and just... they have a code of ethics in there we they in have a code of conduct have no doubt. individual that is involved with the league has mm -hmm. to sign um but then you also have the parents i think they're supposed to be told about it and then if they don't follow that they can be asked to leave at any time oh, you have to sign it. if your child's playing you gotta sign it. i mean i don't know if anybody comes on but we got to sign that same one the kids have to sign at school. I'm sure a piece of paper goes home, Jack. Yeah. Yeah, if you get a package to play baseball, I'm sure there's a code of ethics mm -hmm. paper in that packet. Yeah. Well, I and think then if good. they're on the sex offenders list, they're not supposed to be around the kids mm -hmm. anyway. No, they can't be there. No. Legally, they're not supposed to be there. Correct. Anyway. And that registered sex offenders list is pretty available to just about anybody, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. It's not a question of, of, you know, can they be there, but you have to report that they're there if, if, if you're aware, correct? We know pretty much where everybody is. We had an issue at the high school last year. I know them all. Mm -hmm. uh, he <laughs> was on the sex offender list, and they took him out at the game, and they were like, mm -hmm. yeah, they put on a big scene, but yeah. yeah. He wasn't so I think we're good.
Like we are. I think so. All right. The next thing we have is the Haunted Trail Chili Cook-Off. Um, right now, we are looking Thank good you, with that. We have 27 signed up to hand out candy. All of our spots, pretty much like right in here, are full. We have a couple like up this way mm -hmm. and then around the side. Mm -hmm. So I'm still hustling trying to find those vendors to get them in those spots. Um, you know, somebody that would like to participate, send them my way. Um, we have several spots, like I said, on the back side mm -hmm. of the big parking lot. We can block it completely off and have it for nothing but trigger treaters. How many uh, chilies? So we have you? five. Five, awesome. So fantastic. We're, we're stepping up, and I still, I think, I need one more judge. How many you have? One more judge. How many do you have? I have five so far. I mean, six so far. So I need one more. Six Why? judges. Why? Huh? You have six judges so far. Uh, yeah. Why not? Five, five chilies. Okay. You asking him why so many judges? Oh, um, I don't know. Yeah, you've got plenty of judges. Yeah. 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 Well, you get six, and that way, if somebody gets sick or something, you'll but you can only let five of them participate. If you, yeah, you're an odd number. It's got to be yeah, it's got to be odd. Yeah, yeah. So if you have six that are signed up, you've got enough. Just tell one of them okay. they can't play. <laughs> we'll go with you that. You can sample. <laughs> you can't vote. You can't vote. Okay. My number six. Is there anything we need to do ahead of time for that? Uh, I won't come help. Do you, you have any decorations you want to bring or set up or anything like that? Mm -hmm. You know, just bring them. Um, I have a wedding that I have to photograph like the Friday before. So I'm going to try to get everything done on Thursday before I leave work to be ready to go on Saturday. I'm going to come Saturday and decorate some too. I'm going to, I'm going to say, I've been in that same spot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to decorate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're where you're always at. I'm going to decorate. <laughs> <laughs> and I think, uh, I think the Sanderson sisters, are they still in the. They uh, are. Uh, I'm going to get them back out too. We'll pull them out. Yeah, I'll pull them out. For pictures. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you know if any tea posts over there? Tea post? Uh -huh. um, there may be some still cold. in that in little cold. alcove by the spin room. Okay. I just had to get That's up. usually where they're at. Yeah. Okay. Can you check to see if I'm on the judges list or if I'm not? Is Lori on the judges list? It's, it's yes, ma'am. You are on my judges okay. list. I have to remind myself. Just the chill. And <laughs> something else to consider <laughs> for the future of our uh, haunted trail. Because at the same time, uh, someone is picked back up the Halloween con costume contest for kids because it was such a big part of Barbecue Fest and probably one of the most loved parts of Barbecue Fest. So they were really disappointed that it went away and they are hosting it this year. It just happens to be the same time we're having our thing, just in a different location. And they've got quite a few vendors coming to set up and participate at their event too. And uh, Where's that at? It's a uh, cruise connection. Cruise connection. Mm -hmm. There's, you know, the like the little third Thursday kind of thing they had kind of mm -hmm. filtered over to that area. They're they're doing the Halloween costume contest, and um, I think it might be something that I don't know they'll continue to always do it. I think they just miss it. it might be right. something for us to consider with the on a trip. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, we could always throw that in there. I mean, if it wants to grow and get bigger, people could come sign up and parade down through the trail and let the vendors vote. Yeah. Possibly. So, I mean, we're, I don't know. Just an idea. Okay. All right. Special reports from city departments. I do. Um, and I'll try and I'll start with the easiest one. Um, and then I have some homework to do. So I have some things to relate to you guys. But if you pay attention to the board, this is something up there that um, mm -hmm. when I met with Rotary. We met at the Rotary shelter. So I couldn't tell how long it's been there. But one of the things before I go through the pictures, um, we're going to partner with them to actually put a roof on this thing. I went out today and took these pictures. Um, it's almost getting in bad shape, but it's probably, it is one of our biggest uh, pavilions we have. Mm -hmm. It is a 40 by 60. Um, and just from recent experience, we built the one in Gardenia and it cost us about 25000 mm -hmm. I bet it would cost us $50,000 to build this. Oh, I bet it would yeah. too. Mm -hmm. So we've already got some quotes. We know we're going to be under $10,000. I think Rotary is going to put in 30 to 40%. Uh-huh. Um, don't necessarily need any action from you guys as well within my wheelhouse to do. 
I just want to make sure you guys agree with it. Absolutely. Before I move forward with it, but I'll show you some of the. Um, this has been. This is actually part of the five-year plan. And if you'll go back and look at that, this pavilion is on that. And this is one of our um, uh, most used shelters. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. In our parks. So when did they cut the tree down? Get that arrow on the right there. Well, it froze on me, so oh. I, I, I'm going to get it back real quick. Okay. You need a mouse. Oh, that's a... I'm going to bring him a mouse. But it's got a little hole in the roof, even. You know what I mean? It's... Mm -hmm. it's it's uh, seen a better day. <laughs> and Rotary's name is on the pavilion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the uh, the mulch that's in the mm -hmm. playground area. Mm -hmm. that, that's rubberized mulch. Chance bought that for me right before I left over there. We spread all that out of there. It's a lot of rubber mulch in that hole, but the grass is just growing over the top of it. Yeah. Just to be spreading. I think the guys try to spray it to keep all that down. Yeah. I mean, because, like I said, I put a barricade around all of it because there was a barricade around a piece of it, but we bought new pieces and got it all the way around because the rubber mulch was kind of expensive. And the thought yeah. process was it didn't go away. It lasted for a long time. Yeah. yeah. So if you look at this picture, it's the roof. Uh, you can see the shingles missing. Mm -hmm. The next one, a little closer of the shingles missing. Again, another one. This is the rod on the um, fascia, thanks, fascia. So it'll be replaced. Took a picture of the, and we're gonna place the bad sections of that, the underneath. Mm -hmm. And then there's a hole in the roof. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there is. So um, it's a nice shelter. Um, I think it needs another line of picnic tables. We'll work on that, but just working with Rotary and make sure you guys have no objection to that, to move forward with that and hopefully have that done um, pretty soon. And that's what I had on that. So I wanted to give you a visual of what we were looking at there. Do you need us to do anything or just... No, ma'am, unless you just want to have a discussion that if you don't agree with moving along with that. And I think we all agree it needs to I be... I think it's definitely needed. Yeah. I think it's... Well, before it gets to the point where we have to spend the $50,000, because, yeah. like I said, we'll just... I'm going to be quick because I don't want to take up a lot of you guys' time. But this is the next thing. This is dealing with... Um, Airlines mm -hmm. and the donation of the um, when they want a donation, the City Tent Club uh -huh. Pavilion. Yes. So this is the background on that. I'm going to give Miss Patty credit. Hope she hears that. But she did a lot of work on this. I'm sure she did. it together. But basically, what you have is a timeline. So in the very first page in 2017, August 15, 2017. This is where our governing body um, accepted the proposal to to build that shelter. Mm -hmm. And part, I don't know if it was partnerships, but they, you'll see on the next page is on the back, the minutes of the meeting. Mm -hmm. And then also the letter on the next page where Mr. Rusty Colbert submitted wanting to be able to put that in there. So we do know that that is, um, that did happen in mm -hmm. 2017. Obviously. Me too. If, if you'll go on to the next one, it's where there was discussion about the dedication in December 8th of 2021 at a parks meeting. Mm -hmm. So I outlined that, let me say, outlined that. And then the very last page is where there was discussion on that. Mm -hmm. What I don't know, and I don't think we did, uh, there was not a dedication, was it? Mm -hmm. We just come in through COVID, so there was discussion on that. Yeah, but it wasn't that again. One of the things, and you guys know me, I like to look at everything that's possible to make the right decisions. I wanted to make sure we wasn't violating our uh, resolution that you guys passed on naming um, whatever we're naming for the public. This was before then, so it doesn't apply. And also, the, our commission voted to name it um, Mr. Baker, Mr. Willie Baker, the shelter after him. So I think it'd be totally up to you guys from this point. If you want to have that official dedication, we did call Mr. Brooks. And he said there's, the Civil Tan Club is no longer in existence, but he said he would uh, come to it if it's something you guys want to do and officially that. dedicate mm -hmm. that to you. Mm -hmm. But something I think that stays at this level. It doesn't have to go to the full commission. If y'all want to um, entertain that, just get with Alicia and she can start trying to coordinate that if you guys want to set a date and we'll do it. Okay. But I think we laid it out in a in a way where it's legit. It was done through the commission, 
and then the uh, the naming and everything we're not violating the resolution that we passed in 2017 and they accepted it as is now we just have to have the event that's yeah, what you guys would like to just have to have a good day yes you're exactly right it's jackie because of COVID that we actually mm -hmm. end up well, i don't know what the board did but i wasn't the meeting that we actually end up putting it off and i did think that uh that's something that i think is only fair that mm -hmm. we do when, and this is outside of the point, but it does relate to this because it's almost like we talked about the background checks. Um, Corey agrees. We're going to quit doing action items. Everything needs to be a resolution so it's easy to find. You know how many times I'm, I'm spending a lot of days in the late 80s, early 90s, even though I lived there and I'd go back and do it again, but I'm going through documents trying to find what we did uh, several years back. So I think everything should be by resolution and that way it's easy to find. Um, and before y'all deliberate on that, one last thing we have. Um, we need to construction documents with Chet Rose, Rose Engineering, for the bathroom. So he's uh, he's building that now. Hopefully, when we get those construction plans back, we'll we'll send it out for bid and do an opening, and that should be coming. You know, my goal was to have it done by the first of the year. No, but we maybe we'll see. But um, Mr. Rose is doing the construction documents, uh, so we can get that bid out for good. the bathroom. Good progress. Okay. Thank you, Philip. Appreciate yeah. it. That's a lot of kids. It's good to see those things getting ticked off that list. Yes. Jackie, at this point, I think you just need to, uh, Lord, all of us need to just decide what day we want to have this dedication ceremony, get it on paper so that we can get Alicia start, you know, advertising it on okay. social media. So just let whatever day we believe is good. If I were to, Ms. Lauren? Yeah, mm -hmm. we need to, what is there? Let's look at a calendar. You want to try to do I, it this year, Jackie? Yeah, definitely. I would probably try to do a couple of days so Mr. Bernard votes. You got to make sure. Uh -huh. Which is that way he can, if everyone's not good. Would you um, like me to reach out to Vernon tomorrow and find out what day's good for him? Yeah. And then just yeah. email you back? Yeah. Okay. I'll do that tomorrow. I don't need to email myself because I always did for surely forget. <laughs> We're still waiting on, um, we know we're going to do dedication for Gardenia as well. We're waiting on that flag that's being made. And um, Kate's handled all that now. She's gone. So she, I'm starting to get our emails and that's for to me. So I know they're making it. I just don't know a timeline where, like, you can set a date for this one, but I don't know if we can set that one just yet. Okay. Yeah, because I'm, I'm getting a lot of messages about that. And I don't think we, we wouldn't want to do it without the flag there. No, okay. I'd rather have the flag there. And who is it that, okay, who all, do we have a list of who all we need to contact once we set a date? Or as this dedication, because I'm noticing that this letter was signed by another gentleman that we might want to invite. Russell? What's, I don't think it's challenging by no means, but the Civil Tan Club is no longer in existence. Right, but we know this one, his name is on the paper. Yes. Russell, I think he mm -hmm. needs to be included okay. and he may know and they may he may say well let's also invite who? this and this now they may not all come right. but it, but this this paper here from the Civitan was signed by rusty Colbert. rusty right. Colbert. and so i think we need to include okay. that person and see if he in this anybody that was on the civil town at that time yes and he may and he they may still the town at that time want to come i know they're mm -hmm. well, Lauren, they Lauren, be would you be our contact for the family mm -hmm. That yeah. he may say, well, so and so, and this she person, this person, and, and they may not all come, but at least they were invited. Mm -hmm. I would hate to have it yeah. and not invited. I don't. From the impressive she wants to be. Yeah, she. Yeah, yeah. yeah. she. Yeah. Well, yeah. You know, yeah, that's good. Okay. Uh, uh, solidarity. So y'all start emailing me dates. Yes, I'll check with Vernon tomorrow. Okay. First thing, and I'll, I'll email him and uh, do it. You know, if he and has. And I will try to we'll t get out to Mr. Rusty and see what we can get together. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you know, I, I, you know, but Vernon's getting older, so you know, and, and he's getting around just fine still. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know, what, you know, what kind of schedule he has. Right. I don't see him as often as I used to. I used to see him pretty regular at the senior center and, and places, but I don't see him. As often, you know. But I'll, I'll get with him tomorrow and find out what works for him. Thank you. See if we can't work around that. And thank you, Phil. Okay. 
next, let's see. We don't have any citizens. Okay. Purchase of a new screen. New business. Um, we ordered and it has come in. I have not had it plugged up yet, but we have a new 20 foot blow up screen. Cool. For our we movie night. This is a bad day. It seems like it's going to be better. Um, the way this is set it's up, like it's got the game. actual blower with is it. it. Heavy? Is it heavy? Mm, it, well, I haven't even opened the the bag, but it, yeah, should be. Okay. I'm excited about it. Can't wait to use right. it. Breakfast with Santa. Um, I contacted <laughs> Mr. Stewart. Uh, he had played Santa for us before. <laughs> he has agreed, uh, and his fee is $150. So we'll have to um, get with Shifra, get him a check uh, for that day, but he is all in and ready to go. Good deal. He's got a good costume. And he looks to part well, too. Yeah. He looks to part. Pickle ball. I had a coffee of a four. There it is. Um, I had the guys come over to the center mm -hmm. and measure out the West Hall and the East Hall just to kind of give us an idea of like court size. So this is the official size of a pickleball court. Mm -hmm. um, we can get two in the West Hall yes, without issue, without mm -hmm. having the Boys and Girls Club move their stuff every day. Um, it'll just be a little tight on like in between the courts. Um, but, and if we try to do it in the East hall, you're only going to get one. Yeah. Um, so like it can be done if, like I said, if they want to open pickleball up for everybody mm -hmm. and we just schedule times, I'm good with that. That's the thing. something you just pay for all. Yeah, yeah, I would recommend we just use like painter's um, tape. Yeah. Painter's tape or, tape that way, it don't right. You just have a permanent fixture. Yeah, doesn't leave any sticky residue. Mm -hmm. That's what I used when I was having pickleball up there for mm -hmm. a week. I had a uh, family fun night for a little while. Where I had basketball on one side, pickleball on the other. Mm -hmm. and it was just open for anybody to come and play. Mm -hmm. Had games set up in the lobby, spin classes going, and during baseball registration, there was a lot of people there. <laughs> But then after the registration for baseball was over, I was sitting up there on Wednesday nights with a couple of kids, just me and a couple of kids, and which I didn't mind. How, it, how many nets did you have, one or two? I have one pickleball set. Four paddles. One of the paddles was a little yeah. broke. I think there's some extra paddles in the drawer. There is. Somebody um, gave us some. Because I knew that the, the net was there. I just didn't know. I couldn't remember if there was one the or two. Got the green frame and the yeah. net, and there's some paddles yeah. and some balls. The and whole drawer is full of pickleball stuff. So. Yes. And, Did um, you open that up, though? Does somebody have to be at the community center? That's, yeah. well, that's what I was going to say. There for a little while. Also, we did a uh, Wednesday night older gentleman's basketball league kind of thing, you know. But I played. So I was there. You know, that's what I'm saying. So if somebody that's of the organization that has to sign up and request it and and open it up to everybody to come and play, correct? Is that what we're saying? I bet you have to ever, I mean, uh, we just had the doors open. If you wanted to come and play, you could come play. Yeah. Well, that's that's my thing. We don't, we don't have people there like when we're, when um, teams and meetings and things like that, someone's not there yeah. at all hours. Yeah. So do we have somebody there but they have signed up saying that they'll be responsible. They're responsible for they're their responsible. building. They, they, they have the code, they just had, like if they use the speed room. Right. They have a contract more or mm -hmm. less with us on file saying that you are responsible for the Boy Scouts and y'all's actions yeah. here in this building. Yeah. So what I'm saying, if if you're going to open it up, so then someone is going to have to be over it. Yeah. To fill that out. To be responsible. So we need to we need to discuss that internally a little more. I'm mm -hmm. not saying yes or no to that, but I would want a representative from the city there. Uh, um, and then that's internal. We can talk about it, but that's yeah. something that you guys want to do. I want to look at all angles of that. Mm -hmm. Just open up a community center with no representation there. 
And I think we, you know, like there's anything else you need to do on a trial basis. I'm willing to donate my time over there, but I don't want to sign up to be over there every Thursday night and nobody comes. So I think we need to see if someone's going to actually show up and do this. That's what I'm saying. During the baseball sign ups, there was a lot of right. people there, and I thought, what a wonderful thing right. we're doing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't Bill going to be there, though? He was. Wasn't Bill going to be there? Because he wanted to. I, he was, he was one of the people that wanted the pickleball at the center. Well, it wasn't Bill who talked to me. It was somebody else who talked to yeah. me about it. You know, but once again, they're not really hey. fitting yeah. employees. You know. It was the Bill. You talk about Bill White? Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought you were talking about Bill Walker for me. You're talking about Bill White. No, Jennifer Graham approached me and said uh -huh. that the mayor had asked if, oh. if we could do pickleball at the center. Yeah. And this was during election. Right, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, yeah. and that, that's how far back this has been, you know, this has been asked of, I mean, of, you know, so. There needs to be somebody there. So either if you have a wheel, there's a way. Right. So <laughs> with CD staff, we can, we can flex some hours if we're going to open up certain times of the week and we flex mm -hmm. hours to make sure that we have again mm -hmm. like you said it's a trial thing will it really go over is it a good thing and then we can build off of that way mm -hmm. but just open it up um we don't do that normally we just don't no i was there that's what i'm saying so i was I there internally we talk about that if it's something you guys want to try i want to do and then we figure out the operation part of it yeah right yeah like i said i i was present at the old man basketball league as a park <laughs> director and i was present at family fun nights as the parks director and it was it was good for a minute right good for a minute you know and then when it stopped being good for a minute then i stopped doing it because i was yeah. not going to you know, no offense to the two that would show up right but i might have been up here for three hours <laughs> three out of play <laughs> but when it was 20 or 30 of them it really seemed they played together and it was good it seemed to be warranted you know? mm -hmm. yeah. And that was because of baseball sign up. I let them sit up in the lobby and sign up for baseball. Well, they bring all these kids to come sign up and they all just stayed and play. You know? Then baseball sign ups were over. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> <everybody in>. we're <laughs> thinking. Uh, yeah. Well, anything is good is, I mean, opening up the community center for that is good if people are using yes. it. Yes. Right. I mean, I say we try. They don't want to waste any city manpower no. or hours or money With doing nobody something. coming in there. Yeah. But it's something that I think has to be heavily advertised because mm -hmm. people are so used to us not having it open like that. Yeah. It has to be heavily uh, advertised in order Most for definitely. people to come and enjoy it, I think. Okay. Anything else on Pickleball? No. I had to look up and see what it was. We're, we're just going to investigate a little bit more is where we're. So yeah. I'll, we'll put it, we'll make sure it's on the agenda next mm -hmm. month and, and bring a organizational concept to you guys um, on the trial and how to promote it. And, yeah, and, uh, and, 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 and what kind of representation we'll have. It's fun, Mr. Limo, but we play it outside. And we play, we just take the net up there on the uh, basketball court, like tennis court. And yeah. It's old people tennis. Okay. Mm -hmm. it, it's a bit slower than what we did when we mm -hmm. started running tennis. Okay. It's old people tennis. If you take a look it up, I was going to say, I like it because, you know, it's, it's, fun. it's, it's a slow pace because I used to love to play tennis. And with my knee, I can't do it. And with pickleball, you know, you can be old and play it and enjoy it. I'll right. well, play with some young people who play it like it's a power sport. I'm not playing with them because I got better. <laughs> okay. All right. The boys and girls trial period is ending. Uh, yes. As of, I guess, what, Friday? How do they feel about it? Their uh, trial periods and everything is going well with them. They have been very polite. Uh, the kids have been great. Uh, most of the time, you don't even know. Attending about. During the summer, there was maybe four to eight. It just depended on the day. Some days they had one or two. Um, towards the end, it got to be several more. Since school started, there's anywhere from six to ten. Um, they're mainly middle schoolers. Um, so can I add to that? Mm -hmm. So I have a meeting scheduled with them next week, October 16th, uh, to look at, because the right, the, the trial period is ending. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I want to get their feedback and I want to go and do what we do and look at what was the cost of this? What did our utilities, did yes. they go up at all? Yeah. Is there something else we need to be doing? 
disappointed in the numbers. Not to not necessarily to make any money whatsoever, but look at the cleaning aspect. Yeah. Uh -huh. Did our utilities bill go up? I agree. Is there an agreement there? There should be something there. I don't know that mm -hmm. yet, but that gives us time to really get that. What do they want to do? What does that look like? What did it look to, like to us financially? And then bring that guy to you next month for that. Mm -hmm. So um, in my door to door knocking, uh, a lot of people still do not know that it's there and that it's available. Because okay. it, talking to people, it's like they didn't even know that we had it. And I'm talking middle school parents. I think <clears throat> some kind of way or another, we need to get it. I don't if the middle school not sharing it, I would have thought the Boys and Girls Club would have. The people right that I've talked to, I told them to go to the office and ask for an application mm -hmm. for the Boys and Girls Club mm -hmm. because it needs to be utilized. Yeah. And, well, that's what I told the ones that I've been. That didn't I was really hoping we would have at least 15, 20, and 30 numbers, you know, right, right. not two they to know, eight. Some of the kids like do after school sports. Yeah. They knew it was at the, at the elementary school, but they didn't know that it was at the. Community center. Community center for the middle school and high school. And and because one of the complaints was that one lady was, you know, her kids have nothing to do after school but to get in trouble. And, you know, boys and girls club came up in my conversation and she was like, I didn't know we had one in Mount Pleasant Pants Elementary School. So, and I told her, like, Miss Laurie, to, you know, go by the office, get the application, and get the pamphlet on it. But some kind of or another, we just need to try to get it out there. I promote it more and I don't know. Now, they can it. reach out to Kevin Eady and he can send out through Parent mm -hmm. Square, which is the new right. I parent that, that. And yeah. he can he can even upload mm -hmm. the application and right. send it to every parent on Parent Square. That would be good. Yes. Parent Square. Yeah. See, yeah. I don't know if they the have the that's the first of the year. Yeah. I, seen, I don't yeah, think they, they do. I know they didn't do it on high school because I get out of high school. Mm -hmm. So I, and I would do that, have her. Kevin send that out on parent, and it goes not only to, it goes to every parent associated in the school synergy, which means it would go to parents and grandparents, it goes to every contact in there, yeah. and you can open it if you want to, you know, right. if you, or if you don't right. want to, you can delete it, but when I think Tina, the parent square would be good. When Tina and I were doing the teen center, though, I, I had Ryan Jackson at the high school, and Tim at the middle school both on the loudspeaker every day singing the praises of the Finney Center, okay? Every day. I let the middle school kids come over and have spin classes in the afternoon. They knew the center was available after hours. And our numbers were very weak because of the rules and regulations that the center had versus whenever the center was really wildly popular just because there was no rules and regulations to the center. See. And that seems to be the issue I think the Boys and Girls Club seem to still be having, too. As Boys and Girls Club comes with rules and regulations, behavior, got to be good, you know, like you said. But a lot of kids also, uh, like I said, just talking to parents, as you know, my child's having issues with math, I don't know who to call. Mm -hmm. They got tutoring, mm -hmm. you know, and this is how one of the conversations came up, and she was like, well, how much does it cost? Are there tutoring? It's free. With the, get with the case the center, too, Jackie. Yeah. So, you know, and that's what I, I think we need, and, and Mr. Lemon, you're right, because I get that every month. I think that would be a good way to get it out to the parents. So I, I, I do appreciate all that feedback. Um, I go back to this is a partnership, and I put it on the list of talk to boys and girls. Cause like you said, they can do their part. Obviously, we could do more right. to promote that and then make sure if it discontinues, and hopefully it does, that we are getting that message out there. Um, and may, hopefully it's not related to strict rules. Maybe it is a communication thing. I hope so. The numbers are low. I hope so. Did the Boys and Girls Club volunteer for the Haunted Trails? Because they said they were going to get involved in the community stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have They have volunteered for uh, the Halloween thing. Um, and That's a good time for them to set up as also and say, you know, mm -hmm. would you be interested? kids will be yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> so they were there last year, too. Uh -huh. So, right. Um, to give us a nice little book uh, just from you. Well, yeah, I was, yeah, was going to tell you about that in the last part. <laughs> <laughs> I like and it. I think <laughs> it's, it's after the trial period that they were going to look at helping with improvement, mm -hmm. like the doors mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the, the this mm -hmm. and the that and the other. Mm -hmm. So that'll probably come up in your meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think so, if that's something they're willing to do. But I think the biggest thing is that I want to look at is... Did it put a strain on utilities? I don't know. I don't know if it did or not yet. 
but just in the cleaning and cleaning up after sales. I mean, the doors and there is a community center, and maybe we should be responsible for placing those doors, right? But if they're willing to to look at that, yes, we would want to partner with anybody. But I think the main thing is to make sure we're not putting a big strain on them, and to make sure that because we're we're doing that based off of tax dollars, right? Yeah. So we want to make sure that we're not putting a burden on that to do that. So we'll we'll do an in depth dive on analysis on what it's cost, mm -hmm. and yeah. I don't know that yet, but. I think it's a conversation the Boys and Girls Club needs to really, I mean, because yeah. like, if they're happy with those numbers, Lori, I mean, that's, surely they're paying those people to be there. I'm sure they were expecting more. Yeah. Sure they were, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and and I'm sure, surely they got with the people at the school. I would just. I don't know, but I, I, they will. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. I'm just curious if what this is that was from the planning commission last night oh it's just laying up here did everybody get one of those <laughs> yeah, they're laying, no oh, it, was laying, it was under the folder and i thought it's the final plat on north I, was like, <laughs> I was like i don't know what this is i kept trying to figure it out if i don't need it then i'm laying it over there it was under the folder so i thought everybody had it i thought lord what is this okay all right we don't have any citizens here any other comments if not we will enter well, two I last I, okay, I, I do, because I, I think we didn't finish this. Okay, so the trial period ended last Friday. So they just there. Oh, they just there until yes, after the meeting. Yeah, because there was there was a trial period from date to date. Mm -hmm. We have a meeting set up to talk about moving forward. Mm -hmm. um, I don't. It's, I don't think it's too technical on that. Would y'all agree? Mm -hmm. I mean, they're still there. They're still doing it. And we're going to work over the next few weeks to either. Well, they're off this week, so they're not yeah. in there. Yeah. 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 So you guys okay with that? Right? Yeah. They're still there yeah. now. Yeah. I don't so know what they They do. have time enough. It, like, if we're not going to extend it, that the parents have I, time enough. Yeah, no, I think if we're not going to extend it, we're not going to extend it, but they'd have ample amount of time, like three to six months, to do something different. Okay. I think that would be the right thing to do on that. Okay. I, I don't really foresee any reason why we wouldn't, unless you guys as a board wouldn't want to do that. Um, and then, of course, obviously, the hopefully we commission. can keep on and work it out. But I mean, if not, yeah, we do need to give them a time. Oh, absolutely. You just don't say bye. I mean, it would. I think if you would give them another six months. Well, to they find still them. have a closet full of stuff in there, so. <laughs> well, I do think using that parent square. Yeah, I, I did to, tell them that. Uh, recruit or let get the information. That's the and the parents are now since school started. I mean, Parent Square is where you're going to get all of your information. If, you know, if school is canceled, it's coming through Parent Square. Mm -hmm. if, if teachers are contacting you, it's coming through Parent Square. Every communication you do with the parent is through Parent Square. Newsletters, the newsletters that, thing, that you know. they send home, each school does newsletters and they come through. Everything goes through Parent Square. There's no longer paper pencil. You could even, your flyers. Take those to the office and get the principal to send it out in Parent Square. You don't have to copy yes. and send it on paper anymore. <laughs> Parent Square, it's, everything <laughs> goes through Parent Square. And so that would be, I mean, the easiest way to get information to, and, and, and like I said, it doesn't just go to a parent. It it's not like you're sending one sheet home where a kid may be with mom this week and dad next week, mm -hmm. but it goes to every contact in the system. Mm -hmm. Parents, grandparents, emergency yeah, contact, I get, I get, everybody. I get Columbia's and my bus. At yeah. the end of the school year, when I cleaned out Nova's back, book bag, there's all kind of notes and, yeah. and things <laughs> yeah. from the whole well, year. I still get contacts for Nova. That, that, that never got to Mirror Victoria. But if you could, they could send that out. I've got notes to talk about. I still get contacts for Nova. Did you have something? <laughs> yes. Um, so you said something earlier, uh, and I apologize if we didn't get a package out to you. Um, so there's a couple ways to do it. We can email you a packet or we can e email you the link and all you gotta do is click on it like I did tonight and mm -hmm. everything's online. Mm -hmm. you, you guys would like it that way? Yes. Or we, yeah, I, that's fine. I just would I like just need to make sure get you that link the meeting reminder of when it is just because my okay. brain, I, you well, know, and my brain is like yeah. a computer with 25 yeah, tabs. Send, send the, she sent the package out for week before. And like last month, and I just got right right the day before and then remember, oh, I got a meeting she reminds me. Here's the agenda. And yeah. I'm like, Miss Louisiana, that was my reminder. And I, yeah. I'm like, oh, my God, I don't forget. I'm telling you, I'm standing. You see a check out? I was cleaning out. Oh, my God, I got me. I got both. Well, yeah. when you texted me the last time, I was in New Orleans 
on a trip with the with the hurricane coming in. So, yeah. Sonia's at Disney with the hurricane coming in. Is she back? Is she back? Yeah. <laughs> and the last thing I have, you got these uh, journals in front of you. Um, I like them. That's something that's uh, really nice. Yeah, I've been carrying one that says Murray's on EMS around for a couple of years. They'll last a long time, but mm -hmm. why not? Why can't we have something that says Mount Pleasant on it? So, yeah. Yeah. That's that's you, really for you guys. Nice. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you for the sway. <laughs> All right, we need a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Okay. Second. Okay. <laughs> um, thanks. Uh, I'm out of here. So. Yeah.